All right, coaches, we're going to take a look at some of these slip concepts that were mentioned in that report on the pistol read zone game, particularly in this slip concept. And this is something that Nevada has kind of majored in through the years and it's something a lot of teams have adapted. There's a ton of video here. We're going to get through some clips here. We're probably not going to get through all of them. Okay, but if you want access to the full uh, cut up library, you join the Insiders membership program at xandolabs.com and check out our pistol zone read study. Five cases, 45 videos, 30,000 words. And this is just one section of one case. Okay, in case three, the zone read run game. Okay, so the concept again is an, an, is an unbalanced formation by Nevada. They love to do this formation. Okay, when they call it the samurai or sumo, whatever you want to call it, disease on the ball. Okay, have a wing over here who's going to end up being a slip player. Okay, the regular read option game's coming from this side. You have one player to block the force defender. Okay, the next player's coming inside out. This is all just set up to block for the quarterback if he pulls the ball. So here's a dive player here. Okay, this player on defense, he's going to commit to the dive as most defenses will do. You have two extra players. You know, Coach Norcross talked to us in this report. Cameron Norcross, the offensive line coach in Nevada, he just talked about ball on blockers. So one offensive player is going to take care of, and he talks about the specific technique in the in the clinic report. Okay, but he's he's going to seal the first outside color that he sees. The next player is looking inside out. It's a double load concept or a slip concept, as some coaches will call it. Okay, just making sure the quarterback's able to pull the ball or keep the ball. In that situation, the quarterback decides to give it or pull it, and he's able to get some big yardage here around end. Okay, so again, that zone action is going to force a lot of defenses to start pursuing, especially if you incorporate the slice run game, which Coach Chris Alt did at Nevada. Okay, here's the dive read. Okay, and, and you know, in Another video concept that we talked about in this report, Coach Jim Rastro, who is the running backs coach at Nevada, now is the running backs coach at Washington State University under Mike Leach, talks specifically on how Colin Kaepernick used that technique, the drop and cock technique, okay, and the exchange of the snatch technique. So here's this player right now coming down. He's going to commit, okay, you have one player blocking a force player, okay, one player turn in blocking the alley player, and you're out the gate with the quarterback. Here it is in a goal line situation. Okay, here's a dive player. A lot of times the best thing about these unbalanced formations is that you're going to get just a corner out here. Okay, if teams decide to do that, it's option football. And, you know, this is nothing new in terms of option coaches. A lot of midline and veer coaches will unbalance the formation and isolate that corner. So you're going to get the player in the backfield being the load blocker, okay, and you have the slip player coming over here blocking the next player inside out. It's just designed to have the quarterback pull the ball, especially if he's getting a read like this from the five technique or that C-gap player. I mean, that's just a crash read, okay, regardless of what you're teaching that quarterback. But you get two blockers to the side of the pole to account for that quarterback, to make sure that quarterback keeps the ball. We'll show you one more here, then we'll go to a different formation. Okay, again, goal line situation. Here's the corner. Okay, here's the player right now taking care of that corner. Okay. Load player gets caught inside. Quarterback's able to get the edge for a touchdown. This one, we, you know, we found, and again, this is all part of the video series on case three. We have all this video coaches for you. But this is, this is another interesting, this is against Fresno State. And a little different formation. So now you got that tight end wing formation, two back pistol. A lot of coaches are starting to go to the two back pistol. Okay, have a press technique up top. This player does not take much, okay, to get him out of there. He's not going to be accounted for. This actually becomes a slip player over here. Okay, so this is pure exchange. It's perfect for any type of gap exchange you're getting by the defense. Here's the dive read. 
Okay, Diver is going to absorb that dive back. Here comes the Arc Defender right now. He is going to take the first thing, first bad color he sees, sees outside in. Here's the Slip Player. Okay, that double load concept. You know, you got a body on a body. You know, and this is what you account for. You know, this is why if your quarterback's an athlete, and he doesn't have to be, you know, in our clinic report, in our full-length special report, we ask coaches specifically, do you need a quarterback, okay, to be a runner in this offense? And uh, the percentage is there, and those that said no. There's a significant amount of coaches that feel like they could still run the pistol zone read game without having a dynamic run quarterback as Kaepernick was. You see the back end here to it. You know, the defense does a good job of pursuing here, but you're going to get everybody. Now, this player is going to work, okay? He does not have to work to the force defender, okay? He is going to work his traditional zone rules because you're borrowing blockers. You have one player to account for the force defender, okay? And again, the coaching points on doing that are in a full length clinic report at xandolabs.com. Here comes a slip player. He is accounted for the next player in. And, uh, you know, you got numbers here. Quarterback just has to make a play right now. Okay, pretty good pursuit by number 43, and the player getting off a block does not allow that to happen. A couple more we'll show you here, coaches. Now, this is interesting. This is a high school coach, okay, um, donated his uh, two-back pistol look. Okay, this is Coach Kyle Schmidt, now at Archbishop Spalding High School in Pennsylvania. Okay, now what he's doing now, he's incorporating that fullback, okay, to be the slip blocker, okay, in this scheme. This is a two-back pistol look for him. Okay, we're now, the dive read is going to take the dive. Okay, here comes the quarterback with that fullback as a lead blocker, okay, at a two-back pistol. Okay, it's a twin set, so this player is able to block this, the uh, overhang player, and you're going to get a pretty good game here. You'll see a few more clips of it. Again, 20 personnel pistol. Now, where you want to start that fullback's up to you. Okay, he could come arc to this side. Does not matter. Right now, the fullback's set to the right. They're going to run that slip player over here in motion. Okay, here comes that slip. Now, just a little bit of disguise here, okay? The quarterback's going to fake that little jet sweep action, okay? And here comes a fullback working the slip to block the outside linebacker or force player. Really well-devised play. Now, this is interesting. This is out of 10 personnel. You know, you have second down here, second eight looks like. So now you can do it out of 10 personnel. You're just bringing a motion man. Does not have to be the fullback in the backfield. Okay, he can start there. It does not matter, but the techniques are the same. And what we did in the full-length special report on the pistol zone read run game is we polled over 1,000 coaches on what they teach that player to do. Okay, now this player is taught to take care of the force defender. Different coaches, as usual, have different terminologies, have different coaching points. Okay, in this particular situation, he's going to send him in motion. Okay, and he's going to handle, okay, blocking the next force player outside in. But when you have two receivers out here like that, you're in pretty good advantage. Okay, because those two receivers can handle, okay, two blockers out there. And again, to the linebackers, if, if you combine it with a jet sweep action, there's a lot of eye candy going on here. Okay, players could get confused. Okay, here's the diver. He does not know what to do. Okay, in either case, he's in no position to play the quarterback on the pitch. And you got a lead blocker out there for him as well. Pretty good game here. I'll show you one more, coaches. This one's a little different take on it. Okay, now this is the exact formation that was detailed, except it's it's unbalanced. It's heavy over here with the Z on the ball. But we just showed you the clip with the 49ers and the Green Bay Packers doing it out of a traditional docks formation. This is unbalanced. So now even though you have two over here, you have one player to handle one corner, one slot to handle one outside linebacker. For the quarterback to pull the ball, you still have to account, okay, for that overhang player. And you're doing that with the slip. Let 
Okay, and you get that right, and he does need to account for him. You know, if that outside linebacker is going with flow, pretty big game for the offense. See it from the back end. Offensive line is just running their zone run game. Okay, they're not touching that nine technique there. He's the read key. There's a dive action. Just bypassing this player. Okay, blocking the force player. Excellent, excellent concept. Uh, again, you must master it, okay, but it's all there for you, okay, to use. Coaches, that's just part of the video. Again, we have 45 videos in the entire pistol special report. This is in case three of our special report and detailing the zone read option game. Just one section, which is called the slip section. We also have the lock concept section. We talk about the crack concept, but Coach Mastro talked to us about those free safeties who cheat in the box. Okay, we also have the master lock concept, which is a gap exchange uh, answer for zone read teams that run any type of uh, or C gap exchanges. We also have some other things, okay, from pistol coaches, over two dozen coaches contributing to this pistol report at all levels of football. Coaches, we appreciate your attention. This is Mike Kuchar, www.xandolabs.com. You can find more information on the website by clicking the Insiders Membership Program. Thanks, coaches.